Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth Channel. So today's video, we're gonna talk about Eric Adams being a jerk, though he's a little more than a jerk. So the Hodge twins, the two uh, twin comedians, or uh, black conservatives, whatever, however you wanna label them, they did a video uh, saying, NYC mayor sounds like a jerk. Well, he doesn't sound like a jerk, he is a jerk. He is more than a jerk, he's an asshole. Eric Adams started out as a New York City cop, so he was a transit cop. So he was a transit cop before NYPD merged with Transit and Housing Police Department. There were three different agencies. So he started as a tunnel rat, and when they merged, then he became an NYPD cop. He retired as a captain after 21 years, I think. And during his entire time as a cop, he was a pain in the ass, which he he's going to be a pain in the ass as a mayor, as we already see. Uh, this mayor is way too arrogant to be mayor. He is a, such an asshole and it seems like he's not going to address crime the way it needs to be addressed after a statement he made earlier this week about crime is not as bad as it looks. Say that to the victim's family of the Asian lady who was pushed in a train track just a couple of days ago by a psych patient who was allowed to roam around New York. Psych patients all over the city are pushing people in train tracks and beating up Asian people like hotcakes. So explain that shit to these victims uh, family and then see if you can get away with making an arrogant comment like that. Eric Adams, while in the uh, police department, started a group or co-founder of a group called 100 Black Law Enforcement Officers Who Care, something to that uh, effect. So he started that group as a way to combat police brutality, brutality within the department and on the outside, corruption, and also training young black men on how to approach cops or how to react when cops approach them rather sorry and yes there is uh there is that talk between uh black men or young black men and their parents as to how to approach the cops or how to address cops when they stop you and all that bullshit it is a thing in a black community believe it or not uh not the point the point is is that eric adams has always been a problem He's been a thorn in everybody's side for no apparent reason. He's never really done anything of, of uh, substance, right? So when you read the Wikipedia on Eric Adams, it makes him sound like some fucking hero, and he isn't. He's a fucking asshole. He also started out, or rather in his political career, he started out as a New York State Assemblyman, and then he moved on to, which he moved backwards actually, and he became the Bro Brooklyn Borough President uh, a couple years ago. And then he worked his way up to mayor. So it, I would think that if you became an assemblyman, you would move up the ladder. But instead, he went backwards, moved up, and then maybe he'll go up from there. Who knows? Nonetheless, this guy is going to be a cancer in his own uh, career. This is where he becomes an asshole, if you will. He is hiring people based on the color of their skin and not their merit and not their worth ethics. So he had already said while he was running for mayor that he was going to make historical changes in the city. That means I'm going to hire only black folks for whatever job I appoint them to. As you saw he did with the NYPD commissioner, he only looked at black females and he looked at one white female, Ivani Roman, who was the Newark police commissioner a few years ago. She retired and that was the only white woman he looked at. Outside of that, everybody else is black and everybody else is female, not one male. So he clearly didn't look at their jacket, if you will, their resume. He just goes, you're a female, you got a vagina, you're in. You're black and you're a female, you're definitely in. To boot, he wanted a yes woman. So a lot of these women to me seemed like they weren't gonna be yes women and they didn't wanna be micromanaged. There was one police chief who was a candidate, there was actually three, NYPD police chiefs who were candidate for, uh, for commissioner. One of them, he declined or rather took back his offer because she didn't want to be micromanaged. And I like that. Keep in mind, the female he picked for the NYPD has no business being an NYPD police chief because she came from a small police department, which is Suffolk County, if I'm not mistaken, to enter into a gigantic police department with more crime more police officers, more problems. So instead of picking the three 
black females who were in NYPD for over 20 years, who has experience with the NYPD for over 20 years, who knows NYPD in and out, he goes and hired this lady. Now, I disagree with him hiring that lady for that reason. She doesn't have the experience the other three women have. The name of the women are Police Chief Juanita Holmes, Chief Judith Harrison, and Chief Donna Jones. These are the women that were also contending for the spot, and he went with a Suffolk County police chief. Go figure. Now, this Suffolk County police chief, I forgot her name, but this is her right here. She is going at or after the New York, sorry, Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Braggs, this bag of shit here, because he wants to go soft on crime. So being that he wants to go soft on crime, she is going after him, and that is pretty fucking cool. So she does get a, a, a mark for me for that one. And it seems like she wants to tackle crime more than anything else because this is her legacy and this is going to be her, her, her mark. She's the first black female police commissioner of NYPD. She has to hit the ground running and she has to make a mark. So this is her only way. Let's get back to Eric Adams being an asshole. Eric Adams picked his brother, who used to be an NYPD cop, who also retired, as the deputy police chief commissioner, right? Or deputy police commissioner, right? So anyway, that job comes with a over $200,000 salary and he picked him. Now, there's something called nepotism and nepotism is against the law and I'm a thousand percent sure nepotism in New York City is against the law and yet he picked his brother. So after picking his brother, the media goes after him, the public goes after him and his response was, I'm the mayor of New York City, I pick who I want. That was his fucking, his response. With that, he got more pushback and now he had to demote his brother. So I think he gave him a lesser position or a position further away from NYPD. Nonetheless, your response should have never have been, I'm the mayor, and your pick should have never been your brother. Bottom line. So this is Mayor Eric Adams being an asshole. He's going to be, he was an asshole in NYPD. He's going to be an asshole as a mayor. He was a definite asshole as the borough, uh, Brooklyn Borough President. And he's definitely going to be a fucking asshole moving forward. This is what we've stuck with. And I know a lot of you, you know, <clears throat> play stupid game, win stupid prizes. Well, the Democrats played a stupid game, picked a stupid uh, mayor. Now we're going to win stupid prizes. Crime. Crime is going to skyrocket because he also backs Alvin Bragg's choice not to tackle crime hard. And then his response to, well, crime is not as bad as it look. That means he's going to let the city fall apart. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on The Angry Prepper channel and The Angry Lensman channel. And other than that, guys, thank you for watching.